it's Cam for Titania, and today we have a benchmark test of the Moto XT860, also known as the Droid 3 or Milestone 3 in countries other than Canada, such as the US for the Droid 3, and Milestone 3 is the name we're going by in Europe and Asia. I don't know why they thought in Canada it'd be a good idea to pick a crazy dumb name, but anyways, let's move on with this. We've got Neocore, Linpack, and Tutu and Quadrant. We'll start off with a little bit of Linpack for you guys. So just zoom in a bit. And we'll run a couple single threads, then move on to the multi. So there's a single thread, 41. Another single thread coming up. 42. This is not scoring as well as the HTC Sensation or the Samsung Galaxy S2 scored. And there's one more single thread. <clears throat> this phone does have a dual core TI OMAP processor inside. So a different architecture than a Snapdragon or a Tegra 2 processor. So for some reason the multi-core multi -core runs, or uh, multi-thread I mean, are not running properly. It seems like they're scoring even lower than the single thread ones. My only thing is that maybe Linpack is not optimized for dual core TIO map CPUs, so that can be causing the problem. Now let's give. We can do and two two now. So if we look right, we'll just close test and we'll start a test. So we're all done. Now we can just open up the score chart. And there we go. Scoring a score of the high 4,000s. 4,985. So it is scoring pretty well on N22. That's actually quite surprising because I've had it score way lower, around 4,000. So that is quite a high score. And if you want to look, you can look at those numbers to see some of the individual scores for the different departments. So... Just back out of that now, open up the benchmarks, and now we can do a quadrant benchmark. Oh, so we're all done now, we can just do that. And we scored a pretty appropriate score of 2100. Not too impressive, but pretty good. Um, nothing near some Samsung Galaxy S2 scores we've seen. So now we can finally run Neocore. In the last video of Neocore, I did sing along. Uh, a lot of people liked that. I don't know if I can keep doing that. I don't know, I might come up with something, but... It just sort of comes out. It's not really like a planned thing. So here we go again. But I must say, I do love this music. It's just so. It has so much drama. It's like. Evil robot tank shooting the Eiffel Tower. But it's not the Eiffel Tower. It's a knockoff one from Hong Kong. That's no. That's not being me. It's just sort of like the Eiffel Tower, except it's red and white. No, 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 no. Shooting the Eiffel Tower. Ah, la, 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 yeah, da, 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 That was really bad. But what wasn't bad is the score. 58.6 frames per second is a pretty good score for Neocore. So, um, my singing was bad, but that was a pretty good score. So... That's been Cam for Tectania doing a benchmark test for the Motorola XT860, also known as the Milestone 3, Droid 3, whatever you want to call it, really. You could call it the Magic, the Magic 3. No, you couldn't call it that. So, I'll have lots of videos for you guys coming out on this phone. You can just check out the keyboard there, the back of it, the camera. You can check out my HD video test by clicking on your screen right there. 
Whoa. So, I'll have lots of videos coming out, but Camper Titanium doing some benchmark tests of the Motorola XT860.